what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sapphire here back with another video i make all types of content so hit that subscribe button because you will be entertained today we are doing a book haul i have these books and i also have oh i also have these books and then i also have these books so if you are interested or you're looking for a new book then stay tuned because i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen i have 15 books um to show you that i picked up recently um i'm not going to do this in any order i'm just going to pick them up and show you them give you a brief overview of what they're about and then at the end of the video i will pick three books that i'm going to read um this month so since it's at the top i have the alchemist so this book is by paulo coelho and it basically it follows the journey of a shepherd's boy called santiago who yearns to travel in search of a worldly treasure um, his quest will lead him to riches far different and far more satisfying than he ever imagined. Um, his journey teaches us about essential freedom, listening to our hearts, recognising opportunity and learning to read the path. Like, basically, you learn to read what life throws at you. Um, so I picked this book up because I thought it would be inspirational and I love a book that's inspirational. I don't like reading non-fiction books, so yeah, I thought I could learn a lesson from this. Next, I have The Great Gatsby. It's about a guy called Jay, I think his name's Jay Gatsby. Yeah, Jay Gatsby, he is obsessed. He has an infatuation with a girl called Daisy. Um, he gets a fortune from organised crime and then he invents this new persona for himself. He then buys a mansion across from where Daisy and her husband lives and throws these extravagant parties so that he could get her attention. Then when he does get her attention, so something bad happens, I'm assuming. But she's married, so why the heck are you chasing a married woman, Gatsby? But anyways, I thought this would be interesting. It's a classic. I should read it. I also want to watch the movie, so why not? We also have The Hating Game. So I got this last year, but I haven't read it. And it's a basically, it's a office rivalry romance. It's about a woman who hates a guy and there is a promotion up for grabs and she basically is competing with him to get this promotion. Um, she absolutely cannot stand him. Like she loathes him. But then it says, or does she? So I'm gonna assume they fall in love. Um, so yeah, she wants to take him down. I thought this would be a really interesting read. I then have The Sight of You, which is a book that Atta actually bought me um, for Christmas. And it is a romance and it's described as a love story like no other. This is about two characters called Joel and Callie. Um, Joel has gone through some kind of trauma and Callie has also gone through some kind of trauma and they meet and they are not looking for each other um but I guess they start falling for each other and then Joel has a vision of how it's going to end and so he I guess he breaks it off but it's two people that are not looking for love they end up meeting each other and they fall in love I'm going to guess I'm assuming that's my prediction this is called 12 secrets so it's a thriller it's basically about a guy who's older brother was killed by two of his classmates and he lived in a small town so everyone was shocked by the murder he then grows up to be the best investigative journalist and another crime happens that sheds light onto his brother's murder and so he starts to investigate what's happened and then he is suspicious about those who are closest to him i guess secrets are revealed and yeah someone will do anything to keep the truth buried so these are the type of thrillers i love then i got when she was good by michael robertham and it's described as he was described as a highly skilled thriller writer by the daily express so i thought hmm, i'm gonna get it plus i like the bright orange um cover and it's basically about a woman who witnesses a murder and she was found in a secret room um nobody knows her real name or where she came from and there is a forensic psychologist called cyrus who obviously sees this and he believes that the truth will set her free and it says the truth will not set her free but it could get them killed i then have the summer i turned pretty i've had this book since last year but i haven't read it 
Um, so the Samurai Turned Pretty, I think there was a phase when everyone was obsessed with it. It's now an Amazon Prime TV show, but it's basically about one girl, two boys, and the summer that changed everything. So there is a boy that she's been in love with forever, and then there's another boy who's her best friend, and oh who's always been her friend sorry and then they notice her one summer and it's going to be a summer that she'll never forget i'm going to assume it's to do with, it's going to be a romance it's a very short book and i thought it'd be a really easy read which is why i picked it up i then have shatter me i've had this book um since last year i bought it at the school book fair and i hated it but i'm gonna try to give it another go because they say that you shouldn't judge a book until you get 100 pages in at least and i've only made it to like page 40 but it's basically about a girl who has a fatal touch and the re-establishment has plans for her but to use her as a weapon but she has her own plans she wants to basically fight back and find a future with the one boy she thought she'd lost forever a thrilling superhero story and an unforgettable heroine so this is like a dystopian fiction type book i'm gonna try and read this and we'll see what happens i then have the final gambit which is part of the inheritance game series i love that series obsessed but it's basically basically about a girl called avery who inherits loads of money and houses and hotels and she basically disinherits the um original person's family so the guy that dies she disinherits his family and his family are really trying to figure out why he left all his money to this girl and she is also trying to figure it out and they kind of go on this adventure of solving riddles and mysteries and all these different things to try and come to the answer of why she was left with the inheritance um still in this third book i mean i've read the first two still don't know why she's inherited all the money but maybe we'll find out in this one so i i'm really excited to read this i then have americana but it's basically about these two people who are young and in love and they live in a military rural nigeria they then leave and they obviously separate so one goes to america and she lives a um academically successful life and then the other one goes into a dangerous undocumented life in london they then meet 15 years later in a democrat newly democratic nigeria and reignite their passion for each other but then they are faced with the hardest decision of their life so i kind of want to read this to know what the hardest decision is i'm i'm excited to read this when i finally get around to it it's just that right and put me off so i have a, a girl woman other technically i didn't buy this book it was given to me by my friend who read it so it follows 12 girls who are very different characters on an entwined journey of discovery it is future it is past it is fiction it is history it is a novel about who we are now and it's set in britain but there's literally 12 really different characters and i'm excited to read this book because i feel like it will be super interesting and my friend said it was really good last physical book i have nine perfect strangers and obviously there's a bookmark in it because i've already started reading it this is also a series or is a going to be a series i think it is a series on um, amazon but it's about a uh, nine people who basically go on this luxury retreat for 10 days and they think that it's going to be the most relaxing time of their lives but the retreat starts to be a bit abnormal um and things start happening that they're a bit like what the hell um and then it says that each are discovering the perfect lie. So I'm assuming that their lives are going to be unraveled. It has multiple point of views, which I love. Um, and so far I'm enjoying it. I'm going to probably finish it by tomorrow because that's my goal. Because I want to read um, a few more books for me. So on my Kindle, I have One Week in Paradise, which is a steamy fake dating contemporary romance. And this book, I downloaded from kindle unlimited um so it, the description says when disgraced influencer bailey clark is invited to go on an all-expensive paid trip to a couple's only resort in jamaica she's ecstatic this is the perfect opportunity to re rebuild her brand only problem is she's not in a relationship enter the effortlessly handsome caspian cash reed who just so happens to be her brother dane's best friend he's never seemed to like bailey but when dane jokingly suggests 
cash accompany her to Jamaica and get a free holiday. Billy can't get the idea out of her head. Surprisingly, he agrees to be her fake boyfriend, all in the name of content. Their agreement is simple. One week in paradise brings them closer than ever before and an undeniable spark ignites between them. But Bailey has secrets and the closer they get to one another, the closer Cash gets to unraveling her shameful past. As a lines blur between their fake dating agreement and their real feelings, will Bailey let Cash into her life or will she let her past destroy her future? So that caught my attention because I was like, mm, fake dating, love that. It's also set in my country, Jamaica. So I had to download the book. I then have Things We Never Got Over. Escaping her seemingly so it says escaping her seemingly perfect wedding Naomi Witt arrives in rough around the edges knock him out Virginia running to the rescue of her estranged twin Tina too bad for Naomi her evil twin hasn't changed at all after helping herself to Naomi's car and cash Tina leaves her with something unexpected the 11 year old niece she didn't know she had now she's stuck in town with no job no plan no home and a whole lot of extra responsibility and lastly I have a book that surprised me i have daisy hates which is the second book of the magnolia park series so i want to read daisy hates because that's an, another character that was in magnolia parks and she was like sprinkled throughout and i was really interested in her um and the fact that you know her family is a bunch of criminals but she lives in like kensington type of you know she's still bougie but she's criminals so yeah i wanted to read it and although i wasn't a big fan of magnolia parks i wanted to give daisy hates a chance to see if that would make me fall in love with the series like everyone's obsessed with so those are all the books that i have purchased over the last few months that i need to read and i thought i would also do a cheeky tbr so obviously i'm reading nine perfect strangers already so i want to finish reading that I'm then going to try and read Shatter Me because I feel like this would be a really easy read and I just want to give it a chance. I'm going to give it another go and read this. And lastly for May, since we're halfway through the month, I will read The Great Gatsby because it's a really short book and I feel like I need to set myself a realistic goal. So these are the three books that I'm going to read and we're going to see if I actually get through them. So that is it that is my book haul these are all the books i have acquired over the past few months and that i hope to read in the next few months um i will do a book review of the books that i read this month um at the end of the month to talk about if i really like them if they met my expectations and then i will do another tbr for june if you made it this far thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you have found a new book to read if you haven't or if you're like me and you're just addicted to watching book videos then i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any book recommendations please comment them down below because i'm always open to buying new books it's an addiction but you know i might just buy them on my kindle because it's cheaper but i'm always open to reading new books if you have read any of these books share your thoughts on them did you enjoy them let me know because then that will get me excited to read them but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video.